Hello students, welcome to another lesson. Today we're going to solve page 30, page 31, page 32, and page 33. So let's start with page 30, exercise 1. Exercise 1 says, look at the traffic signs, read and match. Okay, so let's look at A. A says stop, stop. So we have to match. Number one, stop. Number two, turn left. Number three, wild animals. Number four, buses and bikes only. Number five, no right turn. So which one is correct? Number one, very good. So we are going to match. Now B. B, look at these drawings. This is a bike. This is a bus. And they say only. So, this road is only for bikes and buses. Now, let's match with number four. C, C, which, which direction is this? Okay, now let me remind you that this is, this is what? This is right. This is the right. Very good. Right. Okay. What about this direction? What do we call it? This is left. Very good. So, which direction is this? So, this is, this is the left direction. So, turn left. Turn left. Very good. We're going to match with turn left. Now, D. D, look, look at this animal. It's a deer. So wild animals, wild animals. That's right. Now, E, E, look. This is the right direction. And we have this red sign, which means, yes, exactly, no. Very good. So no right turn. No right turn. That's right. Very good. So please match it in your but thank you very much now let's go to exercise two exercise two says draw your own signs and write okay so we're going to draw here look they say no no for example no entry do you remember the sign how can we write no how can we sorry how can we draw no entry okay let's try let's try uh -oh, we need red right we need red very good so, first, we're going to draw a rectangle in here. Yeah, we're going to draw a rectangle. Then, we are going to fill this with red color. This is the sign of no entry. Yeah? Okay, so now we finished this sign, which means no entry. And I also draw here a sign for turn right turn right so of course you can here draw any sign you like but you can also draw this one so please do it in your book in your workbook and now let's move on to the next exercise which is uh, page 31 exercise one here we have read guess the profession and write so we have to guess number one i love children and i love books I work in a school. I work in a school. So who am I? I'm a teacher. Very good. Teacher. Now, number two. I play my guitar in a band. I sing too. So what's his job? He's a musician. Very good. He's playing the guitar. Number three. I like flowers. I water them every day. I plant trees too. So what's his job? A farmer. Very good. Number four. I work in a restaurant. I wear a white hat and I cook. So, who is he? Chef. That's right. He's a chef. Please write it down in your book. Now, let's move on to the next exercise. It says, follow the lines and say what each one wants to become. All right, we have these children, and let's see. Number one, Jill. Jill, okay, let's follow the line. Okay. Ooh, look. What's this? 
It's a guitar. So Jill wants to become a what? What does she want to become in the future? She wants to become a musician. Very good. What about Kate? Let's see. Kate, let's follow the line. Okay. Very good. Look, this is a hat, a white hat and a spoon. So what does she want to become in the future? Kate wants to become a chef. Very good. Now, this boy, Bell, let's see Bell. What does he want to become? All right. What does he want to become? Okay, this is a, this is a ball. It's a football. All right. So he wants to be a player, a football player. Very good. Now, Jim. Okay, let's follow Jim. All right. Oh, look. What does he want to be? He wants to be a doctor. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now let's jump to page 32, which is let's remember exercise one. Look, write, and circle. So look, write, and circle. First, we have these words in the box. Farmer, bus driver, police officers, students. Number one, Frank is a, these or those are his animals. Okay, so first, what's his job? What's his profession? He's a farmer. Very good. He's a farmer. He's a farmer. So, do we say these or those are his animals? Look, they're close. So, very good. These are his animals. Number two. Joanne is a, these or those are her books. She's a student. Very good. Joanne is a student. So these or those are her books. Look, there is a distance. There is a distance. Those are her books. Number three. Ned and Suzanne are, these or those are their hats. So they're police officers. And those are their hats. Very good. Number four. Dan and Betty are bus drivers. These are those. These because we don't have any distance in here. So these are their buses. Very good. Please write it down in your book. Okay. Now let's go to exercise two. Exercise two says look and write. Okay. Let's look. Number one. What time is it? Look, it's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. Now, this boy, his name is Dylan. Dylan, what is Dylan doing at the moment? First, Dylan is a boy and he's singular, so I use is. Dylan is. Feed fish. We add ing to the verb. Feeding. Feeding. Dylan is feeding the fish. Now let's try number two. Number two, what time is it? The, very good. It's half past six. It's half past six. This girl, her name is Mary. Mary. Mary is singular. So I, I use is. Mary is. Do. I add ing. It becomes doing. Mary is doing her homework. Mary is doing her homework. Now, number three. What time is it? It's half past nine. It's half past nine. We have two here. We have Steve, the boy. His name is Steve. And Tanya, the girl. Her name is Tanya. So, what are they doing? Okay, so here we have plural. Plural, they, they, they takes are. They are watering the flowers. They are, or Steve and Tanya are. Why did we use are? We didn't use is because we have here plural. are. Steve and Tanya are watering the flowers. Now, number four, what time is it? It's two o'clock. Very good. We have Mina and John. What are they doing? 
Mina and John are having lunch. Are having lunch. Very good. Please write it down in your book. Good. Now let's jump to exercise three. Look and complete. Use possessive adjectives. Okay. Number one. This is Mark. So, what's the meaning of possessive adjectives? Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, so these are the possessive adjectives. For example, instead of I, I say my. For example, my name is. So, when we talk about things that belong to us, we use these adjectives. My, your, his, for boy, her, for girl, it's for animals and objects. We, instead we, we use our. For example, our classroom. Your, again, we use your for singular and plural. And the last one we have is their. Their, okay? Their, and instead of they, we use their. So these adjectives, we have to memorize them. Okay? Now, let's go back to our exercise. Here we go. This is Mark. Well, Mark is a boy. So, what do I use? His. Very good. This is his traditional costume. Number two. This is Mary. Mary is a girl. So, what do I use? Her. This is her piano. Number three. Look at John and Tim. So, we have two. Two. These are their masks. Very good. Number four, we're sisters. We're talking about, about ourselves. Okay? These are our skirts. I'm a police officer. This is my uniform. You've got a hat from Mexico. It's, it's your souvenir. Your souvenir. Very good. Okay. Now, please write it down in your book. And let's go to exercise four. Write sentences with these words. Okay, so we have to make sentences. You can make your own sentences or you can use the sentences that I'm going to write. Okay, so you can use these uh, examples. Scary, it's a scary mask. It's a scary mask. Beautiful, she's got a beautiful dress. She's got a beautiful dress. A long, it's a long skirt. It's a long skirt. So write it down in your book, please. And let's go to exercise five. Look and circle. Number one, where are the children? At the beach or in Carrie's bedroom? Where are they? Look at them. At the beach. Very good. Number two, are Carrie and Cody swimming? Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Yes, they are. Number three, is there a dolphin in the sea? Yes, there is. Or no, there isn't. No, there isn't. Very good. Now, please do it in your book. Let's go to exercise six. Look and complete. We have shark, red, don't swim, swimming costume. Number one, I'm wearing a blue, a blue what? Swimming costume. Number two, my swimming costume is red. Very good. Number three, let's go home. Don't swim. Let's go home. It's a part of the story that we took. Number four, that's a shark. That's a shark. Excellent. Please write it down in your book. Now, exercise seven, read and match. The children are... Are is red or a shark in the sea? No, in the puzzle or are happy? A blue swimming costume. What do you think? The children are in the puzzle. Very good. Number two, Brett's wearing, Brett's wearing, wearing what? A blue swimming costume. Number three, Carrie and Cody are happy. Very good. Carrie's swimming costume is red. Carrie sees a shark in the sea. Very good. 
please match in your book. So that's it for today. We finished our lesson for today. Thank you so much. See you in another lesson. Goodbye.